guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be unboxing the new Glossy Box skincare. I have it all here in front of me and I am so excited to share this video with you all. So some of you may already have seen some sneak peeks over on Glossy Box's Instagram page if you follow them on there because they have been giving us little sneaks about um, what's included in their skincare range. And if you have watched my Glossy Box unboxing, you also would have seen that this month in their August box, they included one of their um, skincare products, which is the Eye Boost, um, which I absolutely loved. Um, I haven't yet opened this, so I am really excited to actually do it on here in front of the camera to share with you my first impressions. Um, just before we kind of get started, I just want to mention that I have popped all of the information in the description box below, and you can also get some discount off this, so make sure that you check the description box. The other thing as well is that, so Glossy Box have launched it in three different ranges. So there is an oily range, a sensitive and a dry range. Um, so you're bound to find something to suit your skin type. Now I know that Glossy Box has actually been working on this skincare range for the last two years. And these products are all cruelty free, vegan, and the packaging is environmentally friendly. So um, it really is an exciting sort of launch and I really cannot wait to open it up and share it with you all. So as you open it up, this is what the inside looks like. I must admit it is quite heavy, so I'm not gonna be holding it up like this for too long. Um, but there's six different products inside and then there are some little product cards and these are obviously for the oily skin range because my skin, although it's kind of like a combination skin, I would say, in the summertime, it is a little bit more on the oily side. So Glossy Box did kindly gift me this um, as a PR sample and I chose to have the oily um, range. So as you open the um, product cards up, it contains sort of these little cards inside which give you a little bit more information about the products and also how to use them and the key ingredients. Um, I'm not gonna make this video super long, so I'm not going to go into it, but I did think that this is a really, really good idea for you to find out a lot more about the products before you put them on your skin. So the first product is this eye boosting cream, which is designed to reduce the appearance of dark circles and puffiness. Um, if you have watched my Glossy Box August unboxing, you would have seen a little sneak peek of this product because it was inside the August Glossy Box. Um, however, for any of you who haven't seen that, I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you. So I absolutely really liked this because I found it to be really sort of lightweight and I felt that the formula really sort of melts into the skin really, really nicely. Also, something that I haven't mentioned is the packaging as well, which I absolutely love. It's just super plain and simple. It comes in this sort of baby pink with um, the black glossy box um, sort of writing across it, which is really, really nice. I'm a big fan of things that are really sort of plain and simple looking. Um, so yeah, that was the eye cream. The next product in the range is the Night Serum, and this is supposed to deeply nourish and brighten your skin overnight. That sounds really, really good, and I can't wait to go and put it on my face tonight because my skin is seriously needing some TLC. Um, so it says that you are supposed to um, apply this every evening by massaging at just a pea-sized amount of the serum onto cleansed, tone, and slightly damp skin. Um, so let's see what it feels like. Can I just say also that this stuff smells really, really good. It's just very sort of, it's not like a strong smelling, but just a very subtle um, kind of feminine smell. I can't really explain it. I'm so bad at explaining things, but it smells really nice. Um, so this is what it's like. Oh, I just love the smell. It honestly smells like very luxurious um, skincare. 
I am impressed. So this one is a little bit trickier to blend in, but I think it's because I had quite a large amount for such a small space on my hand. Um, but it feels really, really soft and my skin looks really bright. You can't really see it on my camera, but it really does look super, super moisturized. Um, which is lovely. Up next we have the Hydrating Mist and this is supposed to tone, prime and refresh your skin. Um, this looks like it is actually quite a large size and it says to spray three bursts onto cleansed skin to tone your complexion and you can also use it as a primer before applying your makeup and you can use it during the day just to freshen up your skin. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'm not going to spray it because I don't want to get it all over my camera. Um, but yeah, this is quite a large size. It's 100ml, um, which is probably going to last me a very long time. The next product is a 3-in-1 moisturiser, which is supposed to plump and prime and protect your skin. Um, this is a 50ml sample, and it says to apply it after cleansing and toning, and um, allow it to sink into your skin for 45 seconds before applying makeup, which sounds like a really short amount of time because I normally have to wait at least two or three minutes to allow my skincare just to, my moisturizer to blend into my skin before I apply my makeup. Um, so I'm just gonna swatch this on the other side of my hand. So I must say, I can already tell that I'm gonna love this. Um, it seems like it's gonna be perfect for any of you who have oily skin in the summer. Um, because although it is, it looks like it's gonna be really creamy, it is like a gel-based moisturizer, which I absolutely love. And I tell you what, as I'm blending it into my skin, it almost feels like water. I absolutely love that in the summer because there is nothing worse than a really thick moisturizer on your face when you just feel really hot and sticky. Um, and that just feels really, really nice on the skin. Again, it still has that really lush smell that I absolutely love. Um, I really wish you guys could smell this. So um, yeah, my skin is looking really nice and hydrated. Up next, we have a purifying charcoal cleanser, which is designed to remove excess oil and dirt. Obviously, this is part of their sort of oily range. And I must say, obviously, charcoal is supposed to be really good for getting rid of your impurities on your skin. I particularly suffer from really bad sort of blackheads on my nose. They're normally really well concealed on camera, but honestly, they are there. Um, so I'm super excited to actually be able to give this a go and it says that you are supposed to use it morning and night and massage it into your skin in gentle circular motions for about 45 seconds and then rinse off. Um, so this is again another large size, it's 100ml, um, so again I feel like it's going to last me a really long time and I'm just going to apply the tiniest bit so I can show you. So I'm just going to see how that feels and I can really feel it gently exfoliating my skin. Again, it's got that really lovely smell that I absolutely love. Um, but that feels really nice and gentle on the skin. It's certainly not too harsh. I must admit, whenever I've picked up exfoliators that are designed for people with oily skin, I do find that they can be quite harsh on the skin. And um, this feels really gentle. And although it's exfoliating the skin, I feel like it's also um, adding some moisture and it feels really sort of lovely and buttery. Um, which is nice. So I really can't wait to try that out. And last but not least, there is an exfoliating clay scrub. This is designed to deeply cleanse and restore radiance. Um, it says here that it contains, um, so Cornish clay, which is supposed to help keep oily skin looking shine free, which sounds really really good i think i'm going to be using this in the morning it says to use it at least once a week um, again to apply it gently in circular motions um, and if you've got oily skin to be massaging it in for 60 seconds 
or you can leave it on for 10 minutes and use it as a mask, which sounds really, really good. Um, so I'll be intrigued to see how this helps sort of keep my skin um, a little less shiny. Um, again, this is another 100ml bottle and I'm going to put it on my other hand so we can see what it feels like. Ah, so this is pink, which is really nice. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's a really subtle sort of baby pink. Um, and again, this also really exfoliates the skin. I feel like it's a little bit harsher than the other one, um, but certainly feels like it really is mattifying. Um, it doesn't sort of blend as easy as the charcoal one this one is really sort of a lot harder you can really have to work it into your skin um but i can see why it would really sort of help to mattify your skin um which is nice as well so i'm so looking forward to actually be able to give these a go and see how i get on in my everyday skincare um, for any of you who are interested, I will be sharing my sort of um, thoughts and reviews over on my Instagram and um, yeah, make sure that you're following me, following me on there so that you can find out how I'm getting on. Um, as I mentioned at the start of this video, all of the information will be linked in the description box below. And as always, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me in future. Bye guys.